Hello all, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am the Grumpy Gnome, also known as Nomi. And uh, in this adventure, we are going to continue on from the Friendly Arm Inn. And we're going to start going after some of our armor, weaponry, and higher Think experience carefully. points. Uh, before we leave With here, caution. I just want to make sure that everybody has all the equipment that they need and that all the spells are ready to go. So the first thing what we're going to do is take a look yes. at what each of our characters has in their inventory. And let's see, that would be there. I have a good supply of throwing axes. Let's go ahead and throw those five up there. And I'm going to start giving magic items to Dinah here because we are going to go to an area where we will be dealing with um, a lot of magic. Uh, well, we're, we're going to buy a, uh, an identify scroll. Okay, uh, the book, who's going to carry? You can carry the book. Okay, antidotes. Oops, done. I know what they are. Let's... There we go. Okay, one goes to... Mix. One goes to Khalid. One goes to Jahira. One goes to Emon. One goes to Dinah here. And I get one. Okay, that looks good. Uh, next, Minsk. Let's just go ahead and quick slot that. Uh, Khalid, let's uh, give me the battle axe. And you get antidote. Uh, Jahira, what do you got? A lot of potions. So we're definitely going to have to get that potion case from uh, Colinair. Let's put that up there. And antidote can replace that. And that can stack with that. And uh, yeah, we'll get you your pouch. Emon, how are you looking? Antidote. You got it. And Dinah here, you got the antidote. And I am actually going to put the uh, wand of magic missiles up there. Uh, we definitely don't want to touch this. And you've already got the scroll case. And I know you already have all of those scrolls. So you know what we're going to do? Let's um, Scorions. Yeah, it is. So Gorions. Whoops, I didn't want to copy that. But Grand will have the uh, honor of being the first into the scroll case. And then we just dump everything else in there. Dump, dump, dump. And then that opens us up. Uh, magic items, we can put those all in the back. The plus one dagger we want to sell. So I will go ahead and hold on to that. And these need to be identified. And let's go ahead and, as long as we're here, just go ahead and stack that up. How are you doing with arrows? 60, you're all right. How are you doing with arrows? 60, you're all right. Let's get out of here. Uh, spells. Dining here. I thought that was the case. So we um, need to fill these up. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw in one more magic missile. Uh, once again, these are not for damage. These are to disrupt uh, spellcasters from getting their spells off. And I'm going to throw one Larlux in there uh, just as a, a healer in case um, Dinah here takes any damage. And Jahira, I think you looked good last time I saw you. Uh, that looks good. So let's as long as we're here again we're going to speak with bentley think we're going to get carefully. a room and we are going to oops get our spells My inn is memorized open to all who behave yes. themselves. take the peasant room we'll rent it okay nobody was injured so this should go quick i think it's about eight hours uh, you rested for eight hours. Very good. Done. Let's get out of here. Okay. As I said, our first uh, little adventure is going to take us to the east 
to Peltville. You must where gather we're going your party get... before venturing forth. Okay. Where we're going to get yes. nice, like a nice um, suit of plate mail. And then uh, we're also going to see uh, or meet Viconia in this encounter. For evil players, uh, she is a, um, a cleric of choice. She's a drow elf, and a lot of the uh, evil players uh, tend to favor her. Unfortunately, she will not work in our group, uh, A, because we're running the storyline characters, and B, we're, you, run save the day. we're running a good-themed army. So she will not fare well. So uh, this will be our last visit to the Friendly Arm Inn until we come back from, oh, what was that area? Way, way down to the southeast. Uh, the Gibbering, uh, Gibberling Mountains. Uh, there we're going to meet um, Galana and Samuel. And uh, they are going to be uh, the quest where we need to return Samuel to the Temple of Wisdom. And that's going to come later, probably after we do the do with the, caution uh, mines. Okay, we're going to head to the north. Uh, Vicona is going to hail us, and I've actually I'd rather approach her from this angle so that that way I can get my party in a marching order. Help me. If you don't help me, they'll kill me. All right. So, help me. If you don't help me, they'll kill me. Sorry, lady. Not our business. Calm down. We'll help you. Just tell us who you are. My name is Viconia. I'm not from around here. Thank you so much for helping. So, she is a drow elf. And, unfortunately, uh, we're going to go into it. I serve scene. the flaming fist. And of course, he comes in from an angle, which I didn't want. Anyway, flaming fist mercenary, step aside, travelers. I am a member of the flaming fist. The woman you're harboring is wanted for murder. Of the foul is short. She is a dark elf. She's obvious evil. Okay, that's stereotyping. So they lie. I've done nothing wrong. If you want her, you'll have to get. Oh, you won't get one. If you want her, you have to go through us. Or what do you intend to do with her? Uh, it's probably the noble thing. Kill her, of course. So we cannot allow um, a murder to go on without any evidence. Or I should say a murder without a trial. So, uh, Kay, you'll have to go through us first. And now he wants us all to die. So this guy is just an ass and he's probably going to get what he deserves so first thing that's going to happen here is Vicona will cast a command spell to knock this guy out I need to get all my people in ah. a ready position because I want what to be the, the plan? one that actually takes him out otherwise Vicona may get the experience points for this and so in doing this let's go ahead and Everybody fire your weapons. My blade will cut you down to And side. now that they fired weapons, yes. I am gonna switch to melee. Minsk oh, is gonna God. switch to melee. And Again. we are gonna engage him. Oh, oh. I, not really not in this. I don't know who Nature. that is, but you Good need to back throat. up a little. Okay, he's down. And let's look at the history. 50 from Carlo. Okay, so I was the one who took him down. He took 250. Okay, we get the 250. And you can see he's got a nice suit of plate. That would have cost us 720 gold had we have bought it. Uh, a cool helm and shield is... We're not going to bother. But Khalid will carry another long sword. So anyway, here we go. Let's uh, unpause. And... Point. You take that, and you get a cool helm. Khalid, you'll grip this. You? And as a party, 
we can talk to Vicona again, but we're not going to keep her around. We're actually going to dismiss her. Yes. And in my other adventure with the tale of four brothers, I'll actually, I'll actually open her up and uh, you guys can see what her stats are and everything. For this party here, I'm not going to go ahead and remove Evelyn and then put her back in every time we meet another NPC. So, uh, Tale of Four Brothers, we're going to meet all these people. Uh, for now, you're just going to get the dialogue. So, thank you for risking yourselves on my behalf. I know what you're thinking. You know, so obviously, you know, we're being judgmental or she assumes that we're going to be judgmental. Anyway, uh, sorry, I can't harbor a drought. The only reason I'm going to pick this is because this is playing the race car down here. And although they should have put a period right after person um, to put this we don't need another person to worry about is uh, that's not the purpose of having people. You bring people because you respect them and you value their contribution to the party. You don't necessarily want to have to worry about people. So I'm going to just go with this one. Anyway, surface drillers are so weak. Uh, should be glad that you, I should be glad you turned me away. Yeah, so, you know, here's, this is kind of her evil side talking. But once again, you know, she uh, she's a lost soul. And hopefully she'll find her way. So in this dialogue, we're done here. Let's go ahead, get out of here. And Minsk, let's before we forget, about a fight. let's go ahead and get you into this awesome suit of armor. We're going to give Jahira the splint. You're going to get this awesome helm. We're going to ground that one. And Jahira, you're going to get that. And I'm going to go ahead and just give you that to carry. So. What is the plan? We're going to go to the The plan is to Think go to the edge. Think carefully. And now we're actually going to go to High Hedge. And this is where we're going to purchase the uh, scroll With caution. pouch. And we're going to uh, get us a skull because we're going to meet a talking chicken. First, let's see if we can find Keevan, which is right here. Keevan is a, he's a, I want to say a lawful good or chaotic good elf. He's a bounty hunter. Uh, apparently the love of his life was struck down by bandits and now he's on a lifelong quest to rid the area of bandits. Although he is uh, chaotic or lawful good, he is very standoffish and kind of snooty. And his side quest is very timely, which means if you do not get out there and do it right away, he will actually leave the group. Also, if you have any evil party members, there's a possibility that he may engage them in, a, uh, in combat. Anyway, this is the corner of the High Hedge Castle. We're going to work our way down this side, and we're going to come across a group of gnolls. And if you remember from Carlat's adventure, in or the encounter in the Red Chief, uh, we had a little halfling who got his short sword stolen. Well, these are the gnolls that have it. So. Boom. Yes. Uh, okay. Missile weapon. Cool. Yeah. Missile weapon. Missile. You have need of me? Missile? Yes. Oh, oh, my clear. Good. Here we go. Again. Go for the eyes. Go for the eyes. He's down. Ah. That worked well. And. Automatically switch dead. over to this guy. I'm gonna ah. switch to melee. He's gonna New switch point. to melee. We're what gonna is the run plan? in there. Fallen. You are too what close. You this way? He's down. Okay, I'm on. Yep. You got a necklace. A short sword that is produced. Yes. As will be revealed here. Pick that up. 
And it looks like Diana here Did has another you? magic missile. Must rest. Rest. Case of oh, no. Minx needs rest. Well, Again? that's good, but we do have yes. something we want to do before we rest. Okay. Ah. Uh, back to match. Uh, Let's talk more fight. Back to what ranged. is the plan? See if we can take this guy out. He's down. There we go. Think carefully. Okay. We could have gone in there right away, but let's go grab this chicken down here first. Hopefully we'll get a, a skull also in our travels. Okay, this is the Red Canyon. We're going to jump down here. I actually wanted to knock out this entire region, but I know we're not going to have the time to do that. Yes. So in this episode, we will grab the chicken, whose name is Mellencamp. We'll take him back to um, the High Hedge, where our uh, Master Wizard may uh, bring him back. So this wolf, I guess we disturbed the um, his dinner. So let's go ahead and you're try already to take, dead. Take out this wolf. That was easy. Continue on, and we're gonna find Melon Camp. Thank you, Cluck. You have saved Cluck. Me, hey. uh, forsooth. Me thinks you are no ordinary chicken. Uh, okay, I think I took too many blows to the head. Or ah, unholy magic. No, we'll do this one. Okay, Melon Camp. I certainly hope you are Cluck, jesting me. I am indeed no ordinary chicken. I need help. Okay, so now we're going to start to reason with a chicken. Okay, my apologies. I am not going to read all of this. You may read it as uh, you will. And I'm just going to go through the dialogue and get him into our position. So, uh, is there anyone that might be able to assist you? Yes. Okay. Then, to his abode we shall go and the others are kind of dismissing him but after you read that you'll understand why we're doing this thank you it's located just west of Baragos um, Philantral lives there and he is the mage so we got the chicken uh, we do want to come back here because there's some yes. awesome war gear to pick up but for now yes. we are going to go back to High Hedge and if I'm not mistaken uh, Dinah here is probably going to level up just for this uh, return. Anyway let's think carefully find us a skeleton right there. How convenient and here's where that quarterstaff Again? comes in handy cool. uh, Minx, right. you need a blunt weapon. The, I'm not worried about blunt weapons here because they're just going to do one point each, but they're not going to get into combat. Uh, these two will get into combat, and as I said, you have to have a blunt weapon when you go after skeletons. So everybody's selected. Go here. Feel my power. We're going up, and because we are targeting the nearest one, as they move on, these players may be out of range, so I am going to collect every time we drop oh, them and kind of see how they reposition. Go for the ice pool. Okay. Go for the ice for this one. Rusk! Our ranged people have moved up a bit. And finally, we're going to take this guy out. Okay. You know, I do not know if uh, Philantro will buy weapons, but as long as we put all these short swords on the ground, you know, let's go ahead and pick them up and see if he'll give us a couple gold for them. And uh, for me, what is the go plan? ahead and pick up a skull. And now let's yes. uh, visit Ph Philantro. And where's this? And uh, there it is. Here we go. Yes. Boom. Unpause. And more enemies. And that's a wolf. Again. Back to ranged. 
back Let's to the range. Talk more fight. Ah. Let's take this thing out. You're already dead. Okay. What is the well, plan? Go to melee. Pull me once. Go to Shame melee. On you. Yes. Pull me twice. What? My blade will cut you down the side. Oh, war dogs. Four. Okay. We'll have some fun with them. Okay, notice how even though Khalid is not in hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat with these war dogs, he still has a cowardly attitude. Which is going to make him very annoying. Oops, there's our stairs. And in we go. And just for reference, high hedge. In we go. Now, pathfinding here is very difficult. You want to make sure yes. you get your whole party inside the, uh, the circle. Otherwise, the um, flush golems that are out here might attack you. Anyway, uh, Philandrel, let's go ahead and have a talk with him. I be Thalantir, a mighty mage of Baragost. All right, Thalantir, uh, he's gonna dismiss us, which is okay. And we're just going to talk to him. Why time. do I live in such a pissant town? Okay. I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. Yeah. Uh, rumors are there is a mage out here. But actually, we're going to drop down to number four because this is more to the point. Well, rather amusing. You see, I got a talking chicken. Chickens don't talk. So. Uh, now he's going to go into his magic spiel, and this is quite a dialogue. I am not going to go through all of it, so um, I'm quite aware of the Statue of Chickens. Thank you very much. Spare me the that or so rude. So now here he claims to be your apprentice. Apprentice, what? And then all of a sudden, Melon Camp, is that you? Yep. Yeah, it is. Cluck. Okay. I'm no master to you. You are no apprentice, basically, because you stole from me. And then I see you two are well acquainted. I'll leave. No, I don't want to do that because I'm going to walk away from 2000 experience. So he is not your student. You got to help him. A student wishes to learn. This fool wishes to have knowledge. Okay. You speak, you know, but just a little. Only wish to collect, learn, fractional. So here he's kissing up to him. It has taken me some 50 odd years to gain power. You guys are reading this. Continue. Progress so much. Cluck. I borrowed a few items as a thought. Obviously, you steal my tools. And uh, here's where you learn that he actually tried to break into a chest where there was uh, a trap on it. So guess it was after some bracers anyway is there nothing that can be done i'm willing to help however i can which is obviously going to be my answer everything else is pretty much going to dismiss him so what can be done if you're willing to help he needs a component we know what that is reincarnate oh my gosh okay there must be a dead element yes a skull okay very well and we have that skull so at this point, you do want to click quick save because this is a one shot deal. Either you are going to resurrect him or you are going to lose Melon Camp for good. There are no second chances. Why do I live in such a piss town? Hello again. I see you have the needed component. Let's get it on. and he did not survive so that is why we quick save so we're going to end the dialogue here we're actually going to go back here we're going to load game load it from the quick save and we're going to try this again 
Hopefully this time. Think Cat Charm. Oh, oh, is that him? Oh, yes, I think we got him. Continue. Melon Camp, I have arms, arms, hands, feet, and oh my god, thank you, Master. Thank you. Continue. Oh, yes, boy, that blasted. Continue. Me think so. Let you go ahead and pause and read. Continue. Yes, Master. And 2,000 experience points and a plus one reputation. So, awesome. And, and Diamond here leveled. So let's go ahead. We'll pause it there. Steel. Oh, steel. Open the up Diamond of legend. here. Right, boo. And we'll level her up. And she's going to get an additional first level spell, which with our ring is actually going to be two additional spells. She gets full six points and lore goes up by three. So that's awesome. So she's done. And go back to spells. Let's go ahead and pop in. You know, I think I'm going to pop in. Let's throw in a couple chromatics. No, one more magic missile and one chromatic. And obviously we're going to have to rest before those will become activated. Anyway, let's uh, see what we can buy off this guy. Yes. So, is this... Uh, With caution. Why do I Unpause. live in such a Rumors say a power manager lives here. Yeah, we're interested in buying and selling. Okay, I've got a plus one dagger for you. I've got some chain for you. Uh, no, don't want to sell you Purdue Short Sword. And so that's going to get us 187. Good deal. Take it. And Minx, do you have anything to sell? Yeah, look at that. The skeletons just got us 20 gold. Khalid? We can go ahead and get rid of that, because you've already got an extra. Shahira, you are not going to sell potions until we figure out what we're going to do. You will sell a silver necklace. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. And Dana here. You have got... You've got stuff to sell. Oh, no, we need to identify first. So, as long as we're talking about identify... Let's go to, oops, we passed it. We want that case first. Case, 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 case. There it is, potion case. 224, we'll take it. And actually, Jahira, buy that. Dinah here, you are going to buy, identify, buy. Okay, and if everything goes well, uh, Dinah here will be able to write this into her magic book. And if she writes it into her magic book, then we're going to rearrange her spells. And come on. Yes. Okay, back to her spell book. Next thing we're going to do here, since we're only going back to Baragost after this, is get rid of all of these. Uh, rid, 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 and in, 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 in. Okay, this is going to go ahead, identify most of the stuff we have, and that will rest. allow us to start selling <laughs> the uh, magic items. Think yeah. carefully. There might be Good some more gold stuff on here. Hopefully not. I just want to, just want to get over to. Uh, Baragost and give Purdue back his short sword or short sword. And that's probably going to take us to the end of the adventure. And uh, then in the next adventure, we will go back to Red Canyon and collect uh, an awesome hammer. And we're going to get a plus two short sword for With caution. one the hammer I don't know who's going to get it uh, more likely than not that's actually going to go to Carla so I can start 
getting proficiency with a hammer and get rid of oops there's our timer so there's 30 minutes let's go ahead and get into here get purdue his uh, short sword and that'll take us to the end of the adventure so yes. we're going to enter here oh is that him right there i see you oh no that's lugger Sounds like Lex Luger. Okay, Purdue, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? For some reason, I think he's down here. Purdue, right there. Let's get him. Queer things have been afoot lately. Hump. Figured they may have eaten it by now. I hope you ran him through once or twice to get it and at least here's your 50 gold and be gone so this guy he's almost less than grateful but you know what sometimes you just gotta he, he just had a traumatic event so we will cut him some slack so end the dialogue and the results of this we lost his short sword but we got 500 experience our journal's been updated, and he gave us 50 gold for the adventure. So that's cool. Okay. Uh, Dana here, you have gotten that. Let's go to... Let's talk to the uh, in guy, and we will go ahead and get all of our spells, and we'll get stuff identified. Looks like people are already getting tired. You want some whiskey? Uh, no whiskey, but what else do you have? How about a peasant room? And we'll give you one gold for renting it. Eight hours? Eight hours. Done. Okay, so... Uh, let's get her Again. all the magic items first. So, oh, pause. Storm, what do you got? Uh, get that over to her. And get those gauntlets. And that's it for now. And Minx, what do you have? Stupefier. Get that over there. And Khalid, you have nothing magical. Dina here, you have nothing well, uh, let's take a moment and free some space up here. Okay. And uh, these are just plus one bullets, so I'm not really worried about that. And M1, what do you have? Magical? Nothing? Okay. And let's start identifying, starting with the big things. Ever memory. Done. Spell. Boom. Double the amount of first level spells. Awesome. Totally awesome. Next big item, this tome. This is going to increase our charisma by one. Identify. Done. And that's going to me. Stupefier. Let's get that identified. And, oh, stoop E fire. I might have been spelling that wrong. Anyway, 10% chance of stunning a target for one round, which is why I usually like to give this to Minx during uh, mass combats, because if we can stun an opponent, then we can go after somebody who's more active. Anyway, plus two weapon. It's plus one to hit, plus two to damage, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's going back to Minx. I don't know why Khalid lit up. The gauntlets. Identify, spell, boom. Gauntlets of dexterity. These will put your dexterity at 18, as we saw. So that's going to main character. Uh, Antipo, no, let's get rid of this belt. So identify, spell, boom. This is the cursed item of Fem. Femininity, fem, femininity and masculinity basically it changes your gender so we want to get rid of that and uh, what else is going to bring us good money oh the wand of lightning 
at that. And if I still have one more, let's go ahead and do the uh, Bastard Sword. No, we don't. Okay. I believe this... Oh, is that... That might be a uh, protection from petrification. And if that's the case, we can actually go um, milk the Basilisk region and uh, just totally rack up on experience points there. But I don't think we're going to do that. That's kind Whatever of... they need. Okay. Uh, did you have anything else to get rid of? No. That's... You go up to there so we can sell you. Okay, you get your... This can go into there. Okay, I think we're done. So, let's... Uh, let's call it. This is game. So, let's get out of this place. And then... With caution. Once we uh, get out of here, we'll go ahead and end it here. And uh, when we continue on, we'll head back to the uh, Red Canyon. We'll pick up a couple nice weapons, uh, get a lot of gold. And you know what? Before we leave town here, there's a magic sling we're going to pick up. So let's go ahead and exit. Let loot. I hate the dark. OK, pause. And we're going to call it here. So. Thank you very much for coming along on this adventure with me. Uh, once again, I am the Grumpy Gnome. And if you liked it, please leave a like. Uh, feel free to comment. I will respond to all comments left. Uh, you can subscribe and click notifications to continue following our storybook characters. Uh, check out Tale of Four Brothers for this adventure with a little twist and uh, hop over to Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Grumpy Gnome Gaming and uh, follow me there. All right. This is Grumpy Gnome. I'm out. Thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.